This video we will be talking about the Langmuir theory as well as the type 1 and type 2 adsorption isotherm. Now regarding the Langmuir theory, also referred to as the Langmuir isotherm, gives several assumptions. Primarily, a particular solid matter has a fixed amount of identical adsorption sites whereby each site can only contain one molecule and there are no interactions between adsorbed molecules. For example, a sample such as activated carbon is said to be an adsorbent which has a limited number of adsorption sites. Molecules of nitrogen or hydrogen gas can be adsorbed by activated carbon, thus they are known as adsorbates which fills up the adsorption sites. Once the sites are completely filled, the monolayer formation is said to have completed. The first layer formation is well described by the Langmuir theory equation, which is closely associated with the BET equation that describes the further adsorptions during the monolayer formation as well as after its completion. The derivation for the Langmuir equation is shown here. Whereas these equations and graph are for the calculations to obtain the specific surface area of adsorption of a particular substance. Now we go on to the adsorption isotherms. They are the study of the adsorption process through graphs. There are five types of isotherms. Here, we will only be talking about the type 1 and type 2 isotherms. The type 1 isotherm is well explained by the Langmuir theory as it is limited to the completion of a single monolayer of adsorbate at the surface of the particular substance. As for the type 2 isotherm, it can be initially explained by the Langmuir equation, however requires the BET equation to further explain the multi-layer formations. Its adsorbents normally have a wide distribution of pore sizes and its adsorption has no saturation limit given that the surrounding system allows. For the applications, silica gel is a good example of type 2 isotherm whereby it is used in chromatography as a stationary phase for separation of mixture. Whereas activated carbon, which is a type 1 isotherm, is used for fuel storage to store certain gases. And that is all for the video. Thank you for watching.